The race started back in 2010, and we started out with three teams, increased to five the next year. The year after that, we increased to 10, and this year we have 14 go-karts and 12 high schools who are participating. All right, can you help me with this? My name is Mackenzie Cushman. Uh, I go to Center for Academic Success. This is Cass Solar Go-Kart Team. Well, this is the modified cart. Uh, this is a standard chassis, only we are allowed to modify it any way we want. And what we did was we tried to shave as much weight off of it as we could. Uh, and what I hope to accomplish this year is to, well, one, win. <laughs> and B, I want to uh, kind of see how far I can test the cart to see if it can go any faster, if it can go longer, if it can just power through. Get an adjustable wrench. Oh, I'm Josh Caballero. I'm from Desert Vista High School, and uh, I'm the driver for the Desert Vista Solar Squad. This is the, the Maker class, which is the highest, uh, most difficult class at Racing the Sun, where we have to construct our entire car from scratch, just based on some regulations and guidelines that we have to follow. We really wanted to optimize our power efficiency from last year, so what we did to do that is we moved up to bigger tires, these are more efficient in terms of uh, rolling friction and they also go faster. In addition to that, we've also added a bicycle transmission so we could give the motor an easier time uh, going uphill and accelerating. And we also added a bunch of power meters to determine what's happening with the car at any given point. We can determine the motor RPM, the power consumption of the motor, the power input from the panel, as well as the uh, speed we're going at currently. Wire cutters, anybody? Speedo check. On race day, I am surprised to see how many teams have worked until midnight <laughs> the night before, worked around the clock to get their carts up and running, and they actually get here and race. And I'm so happy when they are, they're smiling, they're giving themselves high fives, and they've had such a great time working as a team on this project. Drivers, let's get in the carts so we can get start getting lined up for the safety inspections. The teams come in the morning and they go through a series of checkpoints. It includes safety checkpoints with our mentors who are industry volunteers, um, and then a brakes and maneuverability and a weight check. So they have to weigh at least 100 pounds to get out on the track. And then they go through a series of the safety checks include like uh, make sure they have their safety belt correct, make sure that they have the batteries and all the whole electrical system wired correctly. Well, everyone, again, thank you for coming today. We're gonna do a quick track walk. Uh, we'll talk about it some more, and we want you guys to know what to do in case your vehicle breaks on the track. Right. Come on, guys, we're, we'll head out there as if we were actually going to do a lap. These past couple of days have been kind of rough because we've had a lot of problems, but yesterday we met at our school and we worked out all of the kinks that we could find, and I actually have pretty good confidence in this part that it'll work. Gentlemen, engage your solar panels. I hope our car will perform up to all the work we've put into it and hopefully we'll, we'll win the top speed and endurance. This event has been really fun for us. We really enjoyed the experience of building the car and it's given a lot to us over the past three years. And uh, the grand champion 2017 racing the sun and that team congratulations please come and get this wonderful trophy the number 11 team for center uh,
Uh, when I first joined, I had no idea that I would love it so much. Uh, they, they said, hey, we need a driver. You want to join? And I said, sure. And I ended up falling in love with it. And it was amazing. My teachers are so supportive. They're so amazing. They put so much time and money and effort into this. And I really appreciate what they're, they're doing for me. They're giving me an experience I never thought I could have.